right, this portion of the show brought to you by Country Financial, David Turner. You know, we've got all of our stuff with you now. House, houses, car, truck, whatever. But how do I get a discount? <laughs> you got one. By, yeah, by having all your stuff, you get a, the major discounts. And like if you have your home, a lot of people have their home and won't have their cars. So we can add their cars and they get a really substantial discount on their home. They get a discount on their cars. You know, the more products you have, the more discounts you get. And have a good driving record. Yes, that's that's and a good thing. Boats, important. motorcycles, stuff like that too. Right, yes sir. Mm -hmm. And if we can't ride it through Country Financial, we can ride it through brokerage. All right, but now you do more than just insurance. You do life insurance, you do health, some sort of health insurance. Yeah, long-term care, long care, disability yeah. income. How big a deal is that becoming long-term health care? It's a whole lot bigger deal than it used to because a lot more people are getting, I guess, more educated on... How expensive uh, Yeah, is. once you go through like a grandparent or your mm -hmm. parents, do you see what they went through or what maybe they lost everything and they had to go to a nursing home. They're not being able to be in control of their own... Uh, back, yeah, they yeah. can't have anybody watch them in their own home. They start saying, "Hey, I don't want, I don't want this." And so, if you can take out a long-term care policy, then if something does happen to the point where you know your spouse or your significant other needs help, they can actually stay in the home, and then I'll pay for someone to come in and you know. Um, help them while they're there at their own home they don't have to leave and now you have policies that actually have husband and wife that can do a joint tell, right. them, tell them about that yeah you can actually you know have, uh, put them both on the same policy uh, uh, you know you work from the same fund but it's you know if one uses it uh, the other one doesn't need it or if you you know have it for over 10 year period then something happens to one of them you quit paying your premium there's a lot of now, features on one thing you were able to do with us that some that some folks may not know is you can convert that current policy that's with somebody else right. to Country Financial. Right, yeah, exactly. Like, you know, if you have a... a well, you can tell them our instance. Like, we had one on Jamie only. Right. And so then you we just, just changed it. Yeah, we just turned around and, and increased you and put and you on like it. And it was like for $200 more, Right. And I got included. Yeah, and then we added, you know, the, a little bit more of a, a, a daily benefit. Because you can, you can go a daily benefit, you know, from a minimum amount all the way up to, you know, a maximum. Of course, it's going to be a little bit more depending on the daily benefits mm -hmm. you want and how your elimination period, how long do you want it to, you know, go before you it actually pays. I mean, all these things are just different mm -hmm. factors that Level help the premium. Fees. So the people who want to get in touch with you, they call the number and you, do they come to you or do you go to them? Uh, both. You know, a lot, uh, you know, we give them a choice. I mean, a lot of times people come in the office and we do everything right there in the office. And then sometimes, you know, everybody has busy schedules, you know, so they, you know, if they can't, come to the office then I'll go to them and um, you know a lot of times I've, I've even you know, a few Saturdays you know I will work on Saturday and now coming up football, football season up. yeah that's that's going to be eliminated you know I'll be watching football you know roll tide but um, hopefully now, you've told me this before and I, which I didn't know but you could have done probably many things once you got out of the Marines but your grandfather was an insurance man your dad was in the insurance business why did you decide to do it? Uh, just because all you knew was insurance. I mean, well, I mean, no, I, people I mean, good. actually, I was working with Athens Utilities at the time. You know, I was a water treatment. Uh, I was working at the water treatment plant as an operator, and I worked on midnight shift. And um, just one day, I, there was a bunch of people talking about insurance one day, and they were all bad mouthing about how bad this was and that was. And then they, they got to talking about you know life insurance. And, you know, I knew all about life insurance at the time because I'd grown up, right. you know, daddy's <laughs> office was in our house. And, you know, I was constantly pick reading up. stuff. You know, you just can't help but pick it up. And uh, so finally I couldn't help it. So I started explaining how life insurance worked <laughs> if you actually lived instead of, it just, you know, you, you don't have to die to collect. And I noticed they were actually listening. So well, then, you're at the water treatment plant <laughs> working midnight shift. People are sitting around complaining, complaining about life insurance. Well, actually, it was the next morning, next morning before okay. I got off at For the office. Up. Yeah, yeah. There was and a, you start talking to them, and you're not an agent. Yet. No, I'm not an agent at all. And uh, actually, matter of fact, I ended up having an appointment with a couple of them. And I asked Dad, like, well, what did I do? You, you got know, an appointment with them? You weren't even... I didn't, wasn't even like... Yeah, and I went ahead and pretty much did everything. And... Um, and I asked, uh, and Dad was like, uh, kept telling me, you know, you need to go in. And I was like, I don't think I could do this. Well, then after I finally did it, and I went and talked to him, and I was like, are you kidding me? This is what you do. I was like, how are you doing this, talking? I was like, you know, at the time I was so young. So all you do is no, talk? 
No, I, I, it's a little bit more involved than in that. But at that time, I didn't think so. Growing up in New York, here comes the insurance man. Because back then, the insurance man came to collect too. Right. And they would bring in a satchel, what we called it, about this big with all the paperwork in it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it was like it was like you know your mom and daddy trying to hide. Here comes the insurance man. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. It's not that way anymore. No. Well, I remember you know back when you know granddaddy and daddy was in there. They had rate manuals. Yeah. And you, you, if you went and had an appointment with somebody, I mean, you're looking up the rate manual, getting, you know, it's all on pencil and paper. Well, now it's all on computer. I mean, it's pretty much, I can take a laptop in and I can do everything. I can do a needs analysis. It's all on the computer. <laughs> I mean, you can make it as elaborate as you want or you can make it as simple as you want. What was the name of the insurance company? I don't know if they're still in existence. That everybody had. It covered your death. It covered funeral expenses. It was the... They were like in his only house, one insurance company back in those days. It was like I in the I, I don't know. You no. would have just grown up with country But they like all worked there. You know, Probably the, the first one that started. Was, you know, yeah, I'm not really sure who that I, was. I'll have to find. I can't remember it either. But I, I doubt they're still that open. big satchel they came in. <laughs> yeah. So country financial, it's that easy to transfer everything you got now. More likely you can save people money. Yes, or most of the time we can. Now, sometimes, you know, depending on variables, you know, your driving record, things of this nature, CBR score. I mean, sometimes we might not be able to save you money in every all aspects. But a lot of times we can give you more coverage or we might be able to at least analyze and see like you're not covered for a certain things and where you're not going to beat the service. I mean, you know, my staff, we're going to do bend over backwards to make sure you have good service, especially when it comes claim time. We have not had anybody that uh, has said anything bad about the claim service. I mean, hopefully you'll never have to have a claim, but if you do, that's it's where bad. you need, you know, to be able to call someone and we take care of it. You don't have to worry about it. All you got to do is call me or call the office. It's all handled. Country, don't call him on Saturday. Wanted to mention, <laughs> you got a claim. Well, no, Wanted I, to mention, <laughs> what are what are you drinking there? Oh yeah, this is, <laughs> you know this is the first kickstart I've had since I was on the show the last time. Two when, weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago. They gave me a little, you know, they were. Like a geek. Yeah, talking about geek. How was it? Uh, it, it geeked me up all right. I'll tell you, that's some good stuff. I, I would highly three, recommend it. Yeah. Dusty did three scoops, you know, he did five sermons before he got to church that morning. Well, you know, that day I had a meeting yeah. to go to. Well, I went home and I drank a scoop of that stuff. I put my suit on, I go to this meeting, and I'm sitting there, and I'm like, I mean, I'm ready to go run around the, you know, <laughs> building about five times, so it definitely works. I mean, you yeah. take a little bit well, of that, go work out. You used to drink one a day. Right. Good Give deal. A call. He's a, our new you. insurance fan out here, <laughs> saving us money all the way around. Hey, you know, Joe King passed away. We'll try to get some of that video this week. His funeral is tomorrow in Gadsden. It's had over 6,000 views on our uh, YouTube Just channel. Just one part. And you read about Noel.com, too. Mm -hmm. But yesterday, I went able to make it. Brad went in, filled in for me. Roger Murrah was in town. Mm -hmm. He's written some hit songs. Alan Jackson, he's from Athens. But he, he, and I guess Brad's got this on video, you're about to see it, but he performed down at the uh, High Cotton deal here, Damn. and uh, his, his hit song, High Cotton, was his number one hit song, ironically, about that? for a group y'all may have heard of, getting back together, Alabama. Alabama. We'll go out with that on this Wednesday morning. See y'all tomorrow. Bye. local artists to give them some studio space to promote the arts in our community and to also do art camps for children. I know uh, about a month ago we had an art camp and some individuals in our community graciously sponsored some foster children from VHR who had never painted before and to see the looks on their faces I know Diane said it made all of this worth it knowing that we were able to give that gift back to the community. And today we have Roger Murrow with us. He's an Athens native and a hit songwriter and he is helping us give back to he's going to announce to make this gracious donation to our art center here. So Tina, I'll let you talk about kind of how this all came about. Well, we um, actually were selling the farm that we grew up on and, and we're talking about what we're going to do with the family piano and high cotton seemed like a, a perfect place to put it since Roger wrote the song and uh, 
with all of his background in the music business, we... Uh, well, thank you. Uh, who called this meeting? Is what I want to know. <laughs> the mayor's here, so everybody's ready. So, um, thank you for inviting me to come down today, and uh, I'd like to thank Holly and Tina and all the ladies and people here at uh, High Cotton Arts. I just think it's exciting that you're going to have in this wonderful community, our hometown. You're going to have the arts supported so well because. I think for a community to really grow up and mature, you have to you have to take care of the arts. And the arts cover a lot of territory. It's not just music, it's not just painting, drawing, it's all kind of things. Sculpturing and uh, uh, let's see, welding rusty things together. <laughs> just all kind of things in the arts, you know, but but it's a wonderful thing and, and you'll be surprised how much a little bit of encouragement will go with these young people and then there'll be older people too who a lot of times people wait till they're older to get into their um, find their talents so um, i'm seeing a lot of people who are kin folks and uh, friends and people from the past and this may be the biggest strong, uh, turnout for uh, press people and uh, I don't know, I don't know if that's because Holly is so good <laughs> or what it was, but thank you all for being here to support. And, and lots can happen. To, I don't know if y'all know the story behind the family piano, but their father traded a pickup truck to get this piano. It's 1929 Howard, and that's what they started learning to pick songs out on. I hear we won't need any help. Thank you. <laughs> but um, but I was telling someone earlier that. Actually, not knowing a lot about music, which I didn't actually as a piano player, it, it helped me to keep my songs simple, and it really worked for me. Because a lot of writers, when they get to town, they, uh, they have to unlearn stuff. Because if you get a great piano player or guitar player, the first thing they want to do is put every chord they know in the song. And you just can't do that. So, so we'll play you one that's only has three chords. Where's Bill? Right here. Bill's here. My brother-in-law, Bill. Everybody knows Bill. I told him he should run for mayor. Sorry. Yes, he should. We got a good nominee. Yeah. 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 This is going to be kind of ragged. So when I get through, just act like you really enjoy it. <laughs> We didn't know the time for me. Found our house, the grass was green. Didn't seem like things were all that bad. I bet we walked a thousand miles, chopping corn, pushing plow, learning how to give it all we had. As life went on and years went by, Yeah. 